Good day guys and welcome back to Intellect Academy. Of course, if you are new to this channel, do well to subscribe, like and comment, turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified if we drop a new video. Of course, this channel is a channel where we learn about all science courses and engineering courses. So today we are talking on math and we're talking on theory of quadratic equation. Of course, a quadratic equation is what is the equation of degree two. So the highest degree of a quadratic equation is of degree two. So quadratic equation what is a polynomial of degree two. It's a polynomial of degree two, and it is general what form is the general form is a square plus b x plus c equal to zero. A quadratic equation must be equal to zero. Now you must know the beginning concept of a quadratic equation. Of course, there are cases to quadratic equation and there are types of solution to this quadratic equation. Now, let's see an example of a quadratic equation. So, for example, let's get an example. So, we say example of quadratic equation. Let's say we have one s square. Plus 3x negative 4 is equal to 0. The next one we have um 2x squared negative 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. These are what examples of quadratic equation. Of course, the concept is easy. We said that this is the general form of quadratic equation. We have a x squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. We are a we are A, B, C are known as what? As constants. So they are known as constants. A, B, C are known as constants in this quadratic equation. Now we will talk about the method of solving a quadratic equation. Of course, there are different types of method for solving a quadratic equation. So now that we are talking about methods, so method of solving a quadratic equation. Now there are four methods we are going to talk in this course. The course of this our theory of quadratic equation. So the first we have what the factorization method. We have the factorization method, and we have what completing the square. Completing the square method. The third, we have what the formula method. And the fourth, we have what the graphical method. Now, in the course of this theory of what quadratic equation, we'll talk about the factorization, completing the square, and what the formula method. So first of all, we must know about the factorization method. It's very important to know about the factorization method as the first method of what theory of what quadratic equation for the methods. So first of all, we're going to talk on what the factorization method. Okay, now under the factorization method, of course, we said that what the general form of quadratic equation is given by what a x squared plus b x plus c equals to what zero. Now, under the factorization method, there are two cases. There can be a case where what? So we have case one. Where a is equal to one and two. Where a is greater than one. So there are two cases under the factorization method. A case where a is equal to one and a case where a is greater than one. For a case where a is equal to 1, you can see that it becomes what? 1x squared plus bx plus c equals to what? 0. So, of course, since 1 is constant, anything you multiply by 1 is 10 that in, it becomes what? x squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And in case where x is greater than 1, you have it as what? A general equation like this. And there are two cases, and there are solutions to those two cases. Now let's consider equation or let's consider the first case. There's a method of solution. Now let's let's write an equation that looks like this. 
Let's write an equation that looks like very similar to what we have there on the board. For example, let's say we have x squared plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. Of course, this is what a type of equation of case 1 under the factorization method. We are given this kind of equation and we see a is equal to 1. Of course, we are saying that the coefficient of x, which is a, is 1. The coefficient of, um, um, of x is what? 3. And we have a constant of negative 4. Now, there are solutions to solving this. If you were to solve this kind of question using the factorization method, the first case is to what? identify A, B, and C. So, of course, we say that A is what? 1 here. We say B is what? 3. And C is what? Negative 4. Now, since you have identified A, B, and C, there's something we call the sum and the product. We have sum and we have product. Now, we say that sum is what? Equal to what? B. The sum is equal to what? B. Which is in this case 3. The product is what? Ax. 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 But in this case that A is equal to 1, the product becomes what? X. So therefore, the product is X. We are going to look for two numbers. Since it's a quadratic equation, there will be two values of what? X, which is two roots of X. Two values of X. Now, which two numbers that when you add, which is the sum, it gives you 3. And which two numbers that when you multiply, it gives you also what? Negative 4. Which two numbers? That is the concept of this, in this case, 1. Now, you can look where and investigate this. You need to be very critical when you think. If you have 4 minus 1, the two numbers are what? 4 and minus 1. If you do 4 minus 1, you have 3, right? And if you multiply 4, of course, 4 multiplied by negative 1, you have what? Negative 4, which is sending as C. When you do that, you have what? 3, right? This is the this is the way the quadratic equation of factorization works. Which two numbers are when you multiply, they will give you C, and when you add them, they will give you B. Of course, 4 and negative 1 are the answers. So therefore, we are going to substitute your sum and your product here. So we are having x squared plus anywhere you see. 3, you replace it as what? 4 minus 1 into what? x negative 4 is equal to what? 0. The next step is to expand the bracket. Expanding this bracket, you have what? x squared plus 4x negative what? x negative 4 is equal to 0. And the next step is what? To group these two. Let to group these two. Now, after you have grouped these two, you're going to factor the value of x, or you're going to factor a value that is common to these two brackets. Now, when you factor a bracket, there's sometimes you call that the inside bracket must look alike. They must look alike. So you have in a case where you have what? X is common to both sides. You're having x where you're having 4x. If you factorize x, you have what? X plus what? If you factorize x for 4x, you have 4. Now you're seeing x plus 4. This x plus 4, what is inside this bracket must be similar to what is inside the next bracket. That's how you know that your quadratic equation is correct. Or that's how you know that your roots are giving you something close or looking very correct. So now we're having what? If you notice in this other bracket, you're having negative, negative. So you can factor that negative 1 out to remove the bracket and let it look like this, this um, value we have inside the bracket. So we have in the case where we have negative 1 out. We are having x plus 4. If you open this bracket, you're coming back to this step. 4 equals to what? 0. So we have successfully made these two brackets look like because that's both the foundation of quadratic factorization method of quadratic equations. So let's wipe this off. After there, after you have successfully made these two look alike, we take one of those brackets. So we are taking x plus 4 as one of what the bracket. The remaining thing that will be left out will be this and this. So we're having x negative 1. That is the next thing that will complete the other bracket. We said that we must take one of these two. When we successfully make these two look alike, you take one. The next is what? x negative 1. x negative 1. Very important. Any value you have that is attached to this and this, you must take it together, group them together, which is add them together. So in the case where you have x you're adding x plus negative one it becomes x plus negative one so of course this will turn towards a negative because plus negative is what negative 
all equal to what? 0. So therefore, in the case where you have this, you have that x plus 4 is equal to what? 0. And what? x negative 1 is equal to what? 0. So therefore, this becomes x plus 4 equal to 0. And we have x is equal to negative 4. And we have what? x negative 1 equals to 0. So x is equal to 1. So these are the two brackets. These are the two rules of what? The quadratic equation. And I said this is for case 1. Case 1. For case 2, we are a is greater than 0. We have to re rephrase our step. Now, let me give you an equation where we have um, a greater than 0. For example, let's take, we're considering case 2. Of course, what we did here, we're considering case 1. We're considering case 1 from this point. Okay, now, let's consider a quadratic equation. Let's consider 2x squared plus what? Okay, 2x squared negative 3x um, plus 1 is equal to 0. Let's consider this equation. Which 2, of course, we said that a here is equal to what? 2, b is equal to what? Negative 3, c is equal to 1. And we said we have something called sum and what? Product, right? That is a new concept you must understand. The concept of sum and product. Uh, you, must very, you must understand that the sum in this case is what? B, which is what? Negative 3. Which two numbers that when we mult when you add them, it gives us negative 3. And which two numbers when we multiply we must have A, C. Take note. You must understand that in this case, we say that the product is C. Because of A, we have A, C. And we say A is equal to 1. So therefore, A multiplied by C will give us what? C. So in this case, we are having a case where A is greater than what? 1. So therefore, if you multiply it by C, it must increase. It must have an effect. So of course, the product here is AC. Which two numbers are when you multiply? Of course, which two numbers are when you multiply? You must have what? Of course, A in this case is 2 and C is what? 1. You must have 2. Which two numbers are when you multiply? will give you 2. When you add them, you have what? Negative 3. Which two numbers? If you multiply 2 by 1, you have 3, right? But if we add 2 plus 1, will you have 3? Will you have negative 3? No, that is the case. So therefore, if you multiply the negative of 2 and the negative of 1, you must have what? 2 because of what? Negative 2 multiplied by negative 1 is 2. Negative, negative becomes 2. Then positive, right? That's why you have 2 here. So therefore, you can see a case where you have negative 2 plus minus negative 1. This becomes what? Negative 3. So this is the concept. Bear in mind that positive negative renders the equation as what? A negative. So therefore, negative 2, negative 1 gives us negative 3. Okay, now we said that the two roots becomes what? So we write in this, we have what? 2x squared negative what? Brackets. Now take note. This becomes plus because we have already assumed our um, negative 3 as negative 1 and negative 2. So this becomes plus. Very important. Bracket what? Negative 2, negative 1, x plus 1 equals to 0. So let's take this off. So we are going to open up brackets. We have what? 2x square negative what? See, the concept is easy. Neg um, x multiplied by what? Negative 2. It becomes what? Negative 2x. Negative multiplied by negative 1. It becomes what? Negative x, which is negative x. Plus 1 equals to 0. So this becomes what? 2x squared negative 2x negative x plus 1 equals to 0. The next step is what? Group these two. Group them. Grouping them and we'll see what is common here. 2x is common here. So we have what? x negative what? 1. Right? Then what is common here? Um, negative is common, right? You factor a negative out. You're having x negative 1. Because it goes to 0, negative 1 is common. So we have made these two brackets look the same. So we take one, we're having x negative 1, and the next is what? 2x negative 1 equals to what? 0. Of course, um, I have to say x is equal to 1, and what? 2x equals to 1, divide both sides by 2. We have that x is equal to what? 1 over 2, and x equals to 1. So these are what the roots of the equation. These are the roots of the equation. So please, this is one concept 
need to know about what the factorization method the factorization method very easy to understand two cases case one where x where a is equal to one and x is greater than one so thank you very much for today's class in our next class we'll talk about what the completing the square method <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,